Ford is a free agent, but is also not a free agent. Watch this entire video to fully understand what's going on with the 49ers and defensive end D Ford. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's CJ Sports. And today we'll be talking about D Ford in the the breakup between D Ford and the 49ers. Let's get right into this video. So the 49ers and linebacker D Ford will be parting ways. However, some defaults apparently need to be worked out. John Lynch, the general manager of the 49ers, was asked uh, on Tuesday whether Ford had reported to, uh, for training camp and explained the plan for Ford moving forward. Lynch said he isn't present with the team right now. This is what uh, John Lynch said, quote for quote. I can tell you guys in the next couple of days they'll be working through some things, the league the NFLPA and all of that link said, but you know, I think you guys will see a transaction and you know, I'll just leave at that. The answer applies that there are some financial issues that will need to be resolved as the two decide to break up. Ford signed a five-year, $85 million with the 49ers, traded a 2020 second-round pick to the Chiefs for him in 2019. He's due to make $1.12 million in his base salary this year. And only in three seasons, he only appeared in 18 regular season games and only had nine and a half sacks. So when he plays, he plays pretty well. But due to injuries, primarily his back injury, have kept him from playing. He's only played one game in 2021 and only six in 20. I mean, he only played one game in 2020 and six in 2021. So D Ford will be a free agent, and he could be a a player that could really bump up your defense. But he has to be on the field. That's been the whole thing with D Ford when he was with the Chiefs. Now with the 49ers, he just has to be on the field to perform. And that has all, always been the Achilles heel of, of his career is his injuries. And primarily his back problem. He has a, a he has this like lingering back issue that's been bothering him for three seasons now. So whatever team decides to want to make a just almost just go out in there and if they can get him for a cheap deal, he's only making $1.12 million this uh, season due to his salary. If someone signs to a, a, a league vet minimum, it's almost the same amount that he'll be making in his base salary. And there could be some really good upside to your team. Teams that really need an edge rusher that could make a push. The Cardinals, they got rid of Chandler Jones, bring in D Ford. And he knows the division very well. And they just extended Kyler Murray. This team could be on a run. The Tim Bay Buccaneers seem to be paying everyone. Why not try to bring D Ford? Have Shaquille Bear on one side, D Ford and Joe, uh, and Joey. Oh uh, my God, the 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 rookie, the second year player, could rotate snaps. Another team I don't think people should really count out is the Bengals. And if they run a fourth, uh, and a and they run a four three scheme. Having him and then Trey Hendrickson on another side could be kind of dangerous and a team that could also make another run this year. There's some teams that should really be t um, looking out for. And a sleeper team, in my opinion, with David Ajabo not being able to play this season. I understand that they signed Justin Houston for a one more deal, but I think Baltimore definitely could be a place where he goes and he could just go back with the Chiefs. I mean, there's definitely places where he could go and I think 31 teams will be intrigued with D Ford, but I think he ultimately wants to win a ring and wants to go to a competitor. So I think those are the those are the teams that are are competing. I could say he could go to the the Jets. They need an edge rusher, but I don't think he would go to the Jets. I think he wants to be a competitor, sign a one year deal for here on out as he's getting a little bit older 
and try to win himself a ring and go ring chase. That'll be the best thing for D Ford. And unfortunately, due to his injury history, teams are not willing to pay a big price tag for him. That he's just probably gonna have to take these small one year deals and have big incentivized at the end of his contract and hopefully that he can go uh, win a ring. That would be the best thing for D Ford. And like I said prior to, unfortunately, it's just due to his injury history. He is a very good player when he's on the field. He is just, he's a very disruptive pass rusher. It's just unfortunate that his injury history will not let him get that long-term deal that he almost kind of deserves. And that's kind of the reason why the 49ers are moving away from D Ford is the injury history. When he's on the field, he is productive, but it's just in three seasons, he was only on the field in 18 games. So it's just, it's just not what the 49ers are looking for. Let me know down in the comments what team you think D4 goes to. I kind of gave you a few teams where I'm thinking. Let me know if you think he goes to a competitor or if he's just going to sign the most amount of money that he can to a team. I, I think he's going to go to a competitor and try to ring chase. That's just my personal opinion. But you guys have been smashing the like button lately, so make sure you hit the like button on this video. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel. You guys have been killing it. We're almost at 100 subscribers. I just want to say thank you so much. But... We're not there yet, so make sure you hit it. And it's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.